when I was released from the industrial home and when I found out that my mother was not dead, which I was told by the nuns she was, when I found out that I actually had a mother and then went on to find out that I was born in Vesper, I endeavored to trace my mother for myself. And that was going back 1965 into 1967 when I found my mother. Um, I did this by my own efforts uh, ever before the Freedom of Information and GDPR was introduced. In doing so, I also found out from my mother um, what she suffered both in an industrial school and in the mother and baby institution. From that day on, I think I began to understand the injustice of the system. And for years I have worked on behalf of disenfranchised groups, um, both here in the UK and in America for um, support and assistance for people who've been denied their human rights. I don't see myself as a victim of this system. Uh, people call us survivors um, and some people accept that nomenclature. I prefer to say that I resist all injustice and certainly what's happening in Ireland in, in this moment is injustice in my opinion because it is denying us our human right to our identity and therefore I restyled myself as a resistor which means that I resist any and all types of injustice when it comes to human rights.